Uh, I am Roberto Vidal. I am the president of the Special Jurisdiction from, for Peace from Colombia. And I'm visiting the institute as part of a wider visit to, to the states, looking for support for our tribunal in particular, but in general for the support for the agreement uh, of peace that we have from uh, 2016. Well, the, the special jurisdiction for peace uh, is, uh, we understand that we are part of the global system of criminal law and uh, in, the, in the sense that we are in charge of the prosecution of the worst crimes that uh, have felt uh, during 50 years of armed conflict in Colombia. Uh, our tribunal is special, it's independent and uh, we have the possibility to use uh, and to base our decisions in international law directly. We use international human rights law, international humanitarian law, and criminal law. And uh, we have the consciousness about the, the possibility of our decisions to make part of, uh, in the future, of the costume and the customary law and the, the strong connections that we have with the international system. In the, in the other side, uh, the international criminal law has recognized that the, the tribunal uh, achieved to comply with the international standards of criminal law, and it makes the, 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 the HEP, that is the tribunal, as an example of the an state, the Colombian state, is uh, observing its obligations under international law by itself. And it is the main contribution that we are doing now, that it's a, a good example of this uh, original conception of the international criminal law as an uh, obligation that in first place is in charge of the state and only uh, the, the international institutions like the, the international criminal law has a, a role of complementarity to the, this, this obligation. And uh, that's the, 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 the way that we imagine and we propose uh, a relationship where we occupy uh, a place in this international system and uh, as part of the diverse institutions in the international and local and national realms. We know that the, the, the tribunal works in an environment of international criminal law that is based uh, uh, mainly in the idea of uh, re retributive justice with strong condemnations and sentencing with prison, uh, long prison uh, measures. But uh, an innovation that introduced the, 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 the peace agreement in Colombia is a connection between uh, transitional justice and restorative justice. In, and for us it means, uh, in a concrete manner, that we have the possibility uh, to impose uh, 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 sentences that imply uh, that the perpetrators, when they contribute with the truth and recognize the, the responsibility, have the access to a different kind of measures that include uh, a, a time working in projects uh, out of, of the prison, but working in projects that contribute to the reparation of victims. I, I want to stress that this sentencing is based in a huge contribution about truth, because it, it's one of the main demands of the, of the, of the victims in Colombia, truth and non-repetition. And when, when a perpetrator uh, offers to the tribunal uh, this truth and the recognition of responsibility, we work in, in, in the projects and in the immediate uh, future. We want to, to have the in, enough resources 
for the development of these projects uh, that we are designing at the moment with an, an agenda of prioritization of subjects like the mining or working in, in environmental reconstruction or looking for missed people. And this kind of works uh, we hope that contribute to the reconciliation of society.